this one. One. This one. Good morning. Today our readings focus on the bread of life and the Eucharist. So our prelude focuses on that as well. I'm playing I Am the Bread of Life by Suzanne Tulin, arranged by Mark Hayes. Good morning, welcome to St. Gertrude. As today we celebrate the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We also welcome all of our live stream viewers and this Mass is recorded with permission under our license A728690. We ask you now to please rise for our opening hymn which can be found at number 600 in your Breaking Bread hymnal. Rain Down, number 600. Zero, zero.
gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. With faith that we do not live on bread alone, we gather to feast on the nourishing word of God and the bread of angels. Lord Jesus, you are the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Shepherd of souls. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the consolation of Israel. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God our Father, gifts without measure flow from your goodness to bring us your peace. Our life is your gift. Guide our life's journey, for only your love makes us whole. Keep us strong in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Exodus. The whole Israelite community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots, and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. Now in the evening quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning a dew lay all about the camp. And when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the Israelites asked one another, what is this? for they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. The psalm today is, The Lord Gave Them Bread. It's not in the uh, music uh, books, so the words are as follows. The Lord gave them bread. The Lord gave them bread. 
the Lord gave them bread from heaven. I will intone, and you can please join in after that. <clears throat> reading from the letter of Paul to the church at Ephesus. Sisters and brothers, I declare and testify in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do. 
and the futility of their minds. That is not how you learned Christ, assuming that you have heard of him and were taught in him, as truth is in Jesus, that you should put away the old self of your former way of life, corrupted through deceitful desires, and be renewed in the spirit of your minds and put on the new self, created in God's way, in righteousness and holiness of truth. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, what can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. So they said to him, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord.
each of us, created by God, comes equipped with a great hunger, the images of an empty, a hole in our very makeup, in our lives, a hole that we are determined to fill. God placed that hunger within and then left us to our own devices to satisfy it, knowing full well the only place it can be satisfied is back again with God. Like our hunger for food, this hunger left unmet calls greater and greater attention to itself until finally it becomes more than just an ache, it becomes painful. Lots of us mistake this inner craving and we try to satisfy it with other things. If, for instance, you flip through the channels on cable TV, you can pretty much catch most of the other ways we can try to satisfy our hunger. We have food channels, we have business channels, we have generic sports channels, and then we have specific sports channels. We have music channels of every possible color. And then there's the simple entertainment channels, also of every flavor. But I think my favorite is the shopping channels. What genius! A channel simply devoted to convince us to buy things we absolutely don't need, but suddenly decide, I have got to have that in my house. We're keeping lots of people working on stuff all over the world, huh? For stuff we didn't even know we needed. It is as if, like the people in today's gospel, we have shouted out, what sign can you do? And the makers of programming provided us with every possible sign except the one. In the end, everything else is a diversion. And I mean that in the original sense of that word. Diversion simply means something fun that distracts us for a while. Some diversions are highly entertaining, even captivating, but they always lead nowhere except to more of the same. Only the one leads beyond. Jesus is the bread of life. Only in him is the hunger satisfied only in him are we truly nourished. This craving is for love without measure. It is for God. We touch it in the love we have for others. But even that love, as great as it can be, is limited. The final paradox which Jesus showed us on the cross is that the only way we get this love is by loving others, by giving our own lives away in loving service. Or to put it another way, only in emptying ourselves do we ever get satisfied. I encourage you this week to be aware of your hunger and then try to be aware of the ways you try to satisfy it and especially of the deepest hunger which only is satisfied in love, in God.
Please stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became flesh. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn to the God of righteousness and truth with our heartfelt prayer. That the work of caring for the earth that Pope Francis calls us to becomes part of how we live our lives as we strive to conserve natural resources and share the abundance that surrounds us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That national and local leaders recognize the needs of the marginalized by providing compassionate support, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who seek the nourishment of faith Find it in the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are hungry in body, mind, or spirit find the nourishment they seek in the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In celebration of and thanksgiving for all that St. Ignatius Parish has given to the Edgewater and Rogers Park communities with the hope that the good work begun there will continue in the St. Jerome and St. Gertrude communities of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and for the intention of this Mass, the Galoni and Struby family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of holiness, you lovingly renew our minds and spirits. We seek your mercy as we offer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in our song for the presentation of gifts. I am the bread of life, number 325, number 325. I am the bread of life You who come to me shall not hunger And who believe in me shall not thirst No one can come to me Unless the Father beckons And I will raise you Yeah. 
if you eat of this bread, you shall live forever. You shall live forever, and I will raise you up, and I will. stand and pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Merciful Lord, make holy these gifts, and let our spiritual sacrifice make us an everlasting gift to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. All powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. In you we live and move and have our being. Each day you show us a Father's love. Your Holy Spirit, dwelling within us, gives us on earth the hope of unending joy. Your gift of the Spirit, who raised Jesus from the dead, is the foretaste and promise of the Paschal Feast of Heaven. With thankful praise and company with the angels, we glorify the wonders of your power. Holy, holy, God, our Father, you are most holy, and we want to show you that we are grateful. We bring you bread and wine and ask you to send your Holy Spirit to make these gifts the body and blood of Jesus, your Son. Then we can offer to you what you have given to us. On the night before he died, Jesus was having supper with his apostles. He took bread from the table he gave you thanks and praise, then he broke the bread, gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends, and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
we do now what Jesus told us to do, we remember his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread that gives us life and the cup that saves us. Jesus brings us to you. Welcome us as you welcome him. Father, because you love us, you invite us to come to your table. Fill us with the joy of the Holy Spirit as we receive the body and blood of your Son. Lord, you never forget any of your children. We ask you to take care of those we love. And we pray for those who have died. Remember everyone who is suffering from pain or sorrow. Remember Christians everywhere and all other people in the world. We are filled with wonder and praise. When we see what you do for us through Jesus, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray now with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your friends, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Please offer each other a sign of peace. On you stay, we Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Our communion hymn today is number 357, Take and Eat, number 357. Today's announcements. Next weekend is the Summer Mission Appeal. This year we are supporting the work of NPH, Nuestros Pequeños Hermanos, Our Little Brothers and Sisters, and their work with vulnerable children in Latin America and the Caribbean. Your donations will assist them in delivering direct services to these children and their families in the form of education, health care, and food. Please be as generous as you are able. As you probably already know from the news and you saw the signs coming into church, uh, we're going back to masks, so this was not required today because the news came too late, but starting tomorrow, 
Please wear your mask, whether you are vaccinated or unvaccinated, whenever you are inside church for further notice. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Lord, you give us the strength of new life by the gift of the Eucharist. Protect us with your love and prepare us for eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great week, everyone. Our recessional hymn is number 545, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, 545. And forest, veil and mountain.